Hi everyone, let me ask you this. What is more important for you when it comes to Bluetooth speakers? Better audio quality or more powerful sound? Actually, this body has them both. The 3-bit Max Sound Plus. Hey, welcome to the channel, Michael speaking. Time for another review and I'm hoping to find you in a good health and mood. Undeniably, at the moment, the market is totally saturated with Bluetooth speakers, from small and easy to carry pieces, up to the large boom boxes which give you the illusion that you have awesome bass, while in fact you don't. The Max Sound Plus hits the sweet spots, being portable enough to fit even in a lady's purse, but also large enough to give you the sound quality to enjoy your favorite music or listen to the next episode of the podcast you're looking for. I'll tell you also why I've picked the Tribits model. First of all, a company entirely dedicated to making audio products, mostly portable speakers. Secondly, a young company that is obviously here to stay. Usually, companies of that kind offer mind-blowing quality for the price you pay, because these are the ears where they build their reputation. I was mostly attracted by the reviews of the predecessor, the model called Go, which by some articles has been chosen to be among the best portable speakers alongside with the top sellers by Bose and JPL, which traditionally steal the show when it comes to portable speakers. So now let's give the spotlight to the Max Sound Plus. In terms of price, it well undercuts its competitors. At the moment of making the review, it costs around 55 euro in Germany, 41 British pounds in the UK, and know that it is during a sale period, and it's a little higher in the United States. Packaging is superb, and before taking it out, I knew that it's a quality product because it weighs more than the similar size JBL Flip series. For good audio, this is essential, getting a decent side speaker that sounds good and has room for a larger battery. The device weighs 1 to 3 pounds, which is a little more than the latest JBL Flip 5 and about 0.3 pounds more than the JBL Flip 3. You won't find any surprises in the box, a user manual, a charging cable and of course the portable speaker. This is where I'm going to highlight my only remark and disappointment in the Max Plus. The usage of micro USB ports. It's 2019 and having Type-C usually gives people the confidence that something is higher end. Specifications are quite promising. Bluetooth 4.2, two 12 watt speakers, frequency response between 80 and 20 kHz, 22 mAh battery operating at 7.4 volts, guaranteeing up to 20 hours of playback time. AVRCP, HPF, HSP, well, these don't say too much to you, do they? Well, take a moment and check the description of the video that is going to show you links to explain each one of these features. One thing for sure, specifications are great and looks like most of the manufacturers still prefer to use Bluetooth 4.2 over version 5 in these speakers. Another good news is that you can find accessories for the speaker. And the one thing which is a must-have for me is a carrying box. Luckily, most of the cases compatible with the Flip 3 and Flip 4 by JBL are just fine for the Max Sound Plus. Almost a perfect fit, although the form factor is a little different, so I couldn't be happier. At the time I got the Plus model for testing, there were still no accessories, and having worked for a very long time in a music radio station, I keep the passion for music and good sounds, and keeping the outlook of my audio gear in mint condition feels satisfying. IPX7 rating, accidental drop in the pool won't be an issue, and some rain won't matter at all. Now, the most important part is the sound. 24 watts in total are not to be ignored. My expectation is this to be a little louder when brought outside and compared to the JBL Flip series. The way it sounds is very satisfying. It is up to par with JBL Flip 3 and 4, I couldn't compare with Generation 5, but it is supposed to sound similarly. Doesn't fall short when compared with Bose either, and that's no surprise because Tribit, the manufacturer and designing company of the Max Sound Plus speaker, claimed to have invested a lot in getting the right level of knowledge and experience. Moreover, 
frequency response is really great and while mid-tones sound equally good to the flip series, the 3-bit device has more realistic sound on the highs. The lows are also a little better, while I'm not a fan of artificially boosted bass effects, gotta say that the X bass technology is… wow. There are two passive radiators which release low end bass that is dimensional and controlled and has a dedicated button to be enabled. Are you sick of listening to this track already? Well, Alan Walker with the original Fate. This track has, by the way, extremely interesting stories here. So you, might, you might check it online and see the whole story surrounding it before it became such an explosive hit. Now, uh, we're already outdoors. Time for some testing. Here are the speakers. Uh, there's the JBL Flip 3 and the Tribit Max Sound Plus. I'll, I'll first play the track using the smartphone just to uh, give you an idea of the difference. So that's basically the maximum volume and so on. Sound is not so powerful and that's kind of the maximum. Now I'm um, going to turn on the Bluetooth. I'll turn off the X bass because it's on. Yeah, actually it was off. Never mind now. Uh, going away from the speaker in order to hear how it sounds when brought to a maximum. I'm at around 10 meters away from the speakers, so you can hear the quality. No distortion actually, which is pretty nice. The lows are easy to hear. I have no equalization. So, doing the same exercise, switching to the Flip 3. And again, maximum volume. Actually, kind of hard for me to say which one is louder. I think they're kind of even. Maybe the Tribit Max Sound Plus has slightly better representation of the lows and the highs. Uh, but overall, both are performing pretty well. I think the audio quality with the uh, Tribit Max Sound Plus is generally a little better than on the JBL Flip 3. Do not forget that the Flip 3 is a few years old model, which is very similar to the Flip 4, which I decided to pass. And now there's the JBL Flip 5, which, which at least on paper should be a little better because it has frequency response starting at 65 Hz, while over here we go above 85, meaning that the lows should be a little better with the Flip 5, which I'm probably about to test at some point. Well, that's been everything about the Tribit Max Sound Plus, a speaker at excellent price with really amazing qualities, which I can totally recommend. It's really hard to imagine that they have packed such a beautiful sound into only around 55 bucks. Thanks a lot for watching this episode. It's been really fun. Make sure to be subscribed and hit that notification icon in order to get notified about whatever is coming next because could be your next favorite gadget. My name is Michael and I'm looking forward to see you soon. Cheers!